Hello and welcome back to my channel. So, as the title of this video implies, I bought more books. So, I kind of have an excuse for all the books that I bought. Kind of, but not really. There was a huge book sale that was 50% off all books at this thrift store that I love to go to that has amazing books. And they were having a 50% off, so I had to go buy books. But the majority of these books that I'm about to haul were not bought on that day. They were bought before that sale. So that's not really my excuse. I did buy a lot of books on the 25th. I bought a lot of children's books to start my classroom library. If you don't know, I will be teaching fifth grade next year. So I probably purchased, I'm sorry, I'm looking around at my piles of books, around 80 books. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a quick shot of my book so that you can kind of see what I got. I wasn't going to do a full book haul because there's just so many books and they're all children's books, like middle grade, like, you know, fifth grade level. But if you are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to do a full haul video of all the books that I got from my classroom. I just have these books in piles right now. These are the books that I've already scanned into my app for my classroom library where the kids will be able to check out their books. And then these are the books that I still need to scan in. I'm also trying to sort them as I scan them. So I've sorted them by um, by author and kind of genre. So here's all Diary of Wimpy Kid. These are like mystery slash like magic treehouse novels. Little House on the Prairie, I need to get more. These are all Beverly Cleary books, just all Beverly Cleary. Um, these are all Babysitter's Club, and look at this. I got the graphic novel because they rewrote these to be graphic novels, so that's awesome. These are all the Judy Bloom books that I got. Uh, Roald Dahl, and Roald Dahl as well. Judy Moody, I have more somewhere. And then I have over here, I have these organized into classics. Like these are all classics. These are all Newbery Prize winners, um, so yeah, I'm going to talk to my students about what that means when they see a sticker on the book that has Newbery Prize. So I have those. They're like historical fiction books. So that's what I have sorted already. Okay, so that's kind of like a brief overview of all the kids' books that I bought. And those books I did buy on that half-off sale, so it was a great deal and I had so much fun picking them up. I Like I said, I do plan on like getting more Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I would love to find more of those Babysitter's Club graphic novels, yes. And just a few others, but I feel like it's a really good start. Um, I can't expect to have this grand, amazing, huge, you know, library just my first year. So I'll accumulate more books as my years go on teaching. That is my like, classroom haul and like I said if you'd like to see a more detailed you know really go through the books that I got let me know but if you don't want to see it that's okay too because it's kind of it's a lot of books. So let's go on to the books that I got for myself and like I said I really did not buy a lot of my books at that half off sale. A lot of these books were bought before that like even the day that I filmed that video where I was like hey I'm not gonna buy any more books for the month of May. Well, that failed. First off, I have here The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. And this book I actually purchased for my classroom, but I remember reading this in Children's Lit like three years ago in college. And I remember, I think I remember there being some like themes in there like I feel like there's something about masturbation in this book or something like that. So I need to read this book to make sure it's appropriate for my fifth grade classroom. So I'll be doing that <laughs> before the summer is over. If it is appropriate, it will go into my classroom. Next, I got The Secret Circle by LJ Smith. I just picked this up because I think it's a TV show and I thought it might be interesting and this is one of the very few books that I got on that half off sale. I was having really good luck finding books for my classroom, but not so much for me. And I just kind of picked this up because I didn't want to be empty handed. <laughs> this next book, you're probably going to be like, Paige, 
Why'd you get that? But I've heard that it's actually pretty good and you have to kind of go into it with an open mind. So I picked up The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I know it's by Stephanie Meyer. We all know how everyone feels about Twilight in that whole series, even though I loved it, but I know that it just, I know, I know. But I'm gonna try this out. I'm just gonna do it. This was another random grab. It's Pretty Is by Maggie Mitchell. No clue what it's about. I liked the cover. And on the back it says that it's a psychological thriller. And y'all know I love me some psychological thrillers. I don't know why I just said y'all. Like, I'm not from the South. I live in Kansas City. I picked up Malachi by Alan Brennert. Brennert? I don't know how to say that. All I know about this is that it's a historical fiction novel taking place in Hawaii and I love it. I love that idea. My father was in the military growing up and we were actually stationed in Hawaii twice. So I got to live there two times in my life for like three years each. So I love Hawaii. I love Hawaii's history. So a historical fiction novel about Hawaii, um, yeah. This next book was that 50% off day. And I was not looking for this book for myself or like I was just in the kids books looking for kids books and I found The Scorpio Races by Maggie Steve Otter and I was so excited because I've started The Raven Cycle and so now I can read this. I don't know if this is a series. Is this a series? Uh, I think I want to say it is but I don't know. <gasps> Guys, I literally, I just saw this. Oh my God. Okay. I literally have not flipped through this book. I have not. <laughs> it's signed. Oh my God. I hadn't flipped through it that you got, you got my real reaction with that. It is a signed copy. Okay. I'm all right now. This thrift store is the bomb. Like. A couple weeks ago, I went to that same thrift store and I got this puppy of the Night Circus, a signed copy, and now I found a Maggie Steve Otter book that was signed just sitting there at the bookstore and I literally got this for like a dollar because it was half off of like two, oh my gosh. Okay, calm down Paige. That's so cool. I'm sorry. That is so cool. The next book that I picked up at Half Price Books was Blue Lily Lily Blue and this was like six dollars and I still have to read Dream Thieves but I just bought Dream Thieves you saw that in my previous haul but this was just sitting there saying buy me buy me please Paige you want me so I bought it. I also found Big Little Lies by Lillian Moriarty I don't know if I said that right but I have read The Husband's Secret by her, and I did not like that novel. Um, I thought that the big reveal was revealed too soon, and I just, I didn't like it that much. But I thought I'd give her another go. Um, yeah, we'll see. I've heard it's good, so I hope it is. What I picked up was 19 Minutes by Jodi P. Colt. I read this book in high school and I loved it so much. I did a lot of forensics in high school, which is like acting in theater. One of the events that I did was a reading where you read something to a judge, basically. And I actually cut my own piece from this novel and I like took pieces of the story and put it together and made a reading, a dramatic reading, and it was so good. Like, not trying to toot my own horn, but it was really good. But so. But I haven't read it since then. And that was probably when I was a junior in high school and I'm 24 now. So I am excited to read this. I remember how much I loved it. The next book that I picked up, I was just like at half price books and I was just looking and then I saw this and I said, oh, cause I've really been wanting to read this book, but I just, I'm not gonna go buy it brand new. So I found Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. And I did not know that this book was like illustrated like I didn't know that and I think that's so cool and I love how I just I love the book so I can't wait to read this I also found Ready Player One by Ernest Klein in the thrift store just sitting there waiting for me to grab him so I grabbed him and I'm gonna read him this next series is a series that I actually picked up from my classroom but it's on my bookshelf because I want to read the series first because I have not read it and that is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. 
Um, I don't think I have all of the books in the series, but I have one through four right here. I'm not sure how big the series is actually. I'm not sure. We'll see if I like it. If I don't like it, then I'll just put it in my classroom because I know my fifth graders will love it. I also got The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I just hear people talking about this book and this author, so I grabbed it. It's a trilogy. That's all I really know. I picked up An Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. I've said in a previous video that I do want to try to read all John Green's books. So I saw this and I grabbed it so that I can do that. This next book is kind of funny. So I go into Half Price the Books. I get all the way in there and all the way out without buying anything. I was so proud of myself. So I exit the doors of Half Price Books. And then, there outside on those carts where things are like a dollar, I saw this puppy poking out. And I said, I recognize that title and I recognize that author. Let's see what it is. And it was Ashes to Ashes by Jenny Han and someone Vivian. And I said, uh, it's a dollar so I'm getting it. I know that this is like the third book in the series, but I just, it's a problem guys. It's like, oh, I know I'm not going to get to read this book anytime soon because I don't have book one and two, but I'm going to buy it anyways. This is a book that I actually got in my Amazon haul that I talked about in my first book haul, which I'll link below so you can see. And if you remember in that video, I got super hung up on how pretty this cover was and I started talking about it and talking about it and then I forgot that I still had another book in that box to show you and I just totally forgot about it. So I'm sorry book, I totally forgot about you because this was just so pretty. So I did buy The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I plan on reading this whole trilogy. It sounds super, super good. And I love the cover too. And yeah, I'm excited about reading this. So the last book that I picked up, I was at Target and I had a Target gift card. I thought I was gonna get something for my classroom, but I couldn't really find anything that I wanted. And then I went and looked at the books. We all know how that turned out, right? There they have like in their emerging authors section, it just had like every book that I wanted. I saw Flawed by Cecilia Ahorn, The Apollo, that new series that came out by Rick Riordan. Oh, what else was there? It was everything. Every book that we talk about on BookTube was like there. It was like someone called up someone from BookTube and was like, hey, what book should we put on our shelves at Target? And they just Needless to say, I spent like 15 minutes just like trying to decide which book I was going to get with my gift card <laughs> and my husband and daughter got a little bit irritated, I'm not going to lie. But I decided to get The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This was my first Morgan Matson book that I've ever read. I did just finish this today actually and I'm just giddy about this book. This was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This was a new May release. It came out May 3rd, I believe, and I had been planning on reading it. I really wanted to read it, and I'm so glad that I saw it in Target and I got it because, oh my god, Morgan Matson, I bow down to the queen. I love her. Love her, love her. I can't wait to read more by her. Anyways, this video is getting super, super long. Thank you so much for sticking it through to the end of this video. I know it got a little bit chatty in there. But let me know in the comments below if you have read any of the books that I hauled. And also, let me know if you have any really good suggestions for some books that I should be putting in my fifth grade classroom library. Alright guys, I will talk to you later. Happy reading!